Hi, I'm Alexis Marie Chute, author of Expecting Sunshine, a journey of grief, healing, and pregnancy after loss, and also Expecting Sunshine documentary film. October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. It is an incredibly important time for me and my family. So my son, Zachary, he was born at 30 weeks gestation. I held him in my arms and that's where he died. And that one event oh, transformed everything of who I am. And for the first while, it was a nightmare. He died on October 14th. And this year, it will be eight years. He would have been eight years old. That blows me away to think about it. When I left the hospital without Zachary, with empty arms, I felt alone. I felt like I had failed at motherhood. I felt like there was nobody else who understood and that everyone was looking at me like, you couldn't even give birth to a healthy baby. There was so much judgment in my heart towards myself. And it was only when I started to open up about my loss that I realized that I'm not alone and that so many women and families lose children. And it is heartbreaking, devastating. It shatters everything of who you thought you were. And it really tests how strong you can be. And so for me, I didn't face my grief for a long time, I call it my year of distraction. In that time, I did everything I could except face my grief. I worked like crazy. I took my one living child to every kid's activity I could think of. I did everything so I didn't have to live and experience that grief in a real way. And it was only when I got pregnant again that I realized it was more of a shock to my system if I don't deal with this grief, it's going to hang on me for the rest of my life. And I didn't want that for myself and I didn't want that for my family. And that's when I decided I was gonna pursue healing, whatever that looked like. I did things that failed, like meditation. Um, I did other things like make art, which really was immensely helpful. I had to figure out what healing looked like for me and who I was gonna be in this new normal. And so I write about all this, all these failures and successes, my highs and my lows in Expecting Sunshine, my memoir that is um, both the best of me, but also the worst and my darkest, deepest times I lay out there because I truly believe no one should feel alone after this kind of experience and that we can build each other up by sharing stories. Sharing stories is so powerful. So I also have a documentary film about this where I've interviewed other bereaved parents, doctors, nurses, counselors, advocates, and really got the sense of you know, what it is like for people to go through loss and all different kinds of loss of babies within the womb and also children early in life. While everyone's experience is different, we are also bonded by the grief that our children have died before us. <sighs> it's a heavy <laughs> emotional grief that I know personally I'll carry for the rest of my life. At the same time, I know that my son Zachary, even though he's not with me, he wants me to take what I've been through, to pull myself up, to be resilient and to have hope and faith and to be happy, to have joy in my life. And sometimes it might seem like those are two uh, separate ends, two separate extremes. But I have learned through this journey that those extremes can live together. We can both grieve and feel joy at the same time. So I really encourage you, wherever you are at this month, this October Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month, to be gentle and kind to yourself. I have been there. You don't need judgment. Practice self-care. Find what brings you joy. Maybe it is art making, maybe it's running, maybe it's those friends who don't even have to say anything, just be there. So I am just so grateful for all the people in my life who have been there, who have supported me and who have lifted me up. And I am immensely grateful that we have a month like this to share our stories. So I encourage you, share your story. I bet that it will help comfort and encourage somebody else who has experienced a loss.
I celebrate Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month for my son, Zachary. Who are you remembering this month? Please share this video with somebody who you know needs to hear this message.